One of the nice features of Articulate Storyline is the fact that it works extremely well with PowerPoint. Now, Articulate itself has always been embedded inside of PowerPoint. So when you've worked with um, Articulate Presenter before Storyline came along, that was basically you're building your content inside of PowerPoint and then it converted to um, converted to a course. Well, Storyline kind of broke away from that, but it's kept a lot of that same elements being able to work with PowerPoint. So you can actually take a PowerPoint because uh, a lot of training uh, basically starts inside of PowerPoint. So it realizes that Articulate realizes that it still needs that support for PowerPoint in order to rapidly convert a training into store into uh, e-learning. However, that's not always the best case. You may not always just want to take a PowerPoint and convert it over and then call it training. Uh, honestly, I think it needs to be more needs to happen to it. Some instructional design, uh, some interactions, and really to take advantage of just doing more than uh, like a slideshow or anything. You need to engage the learner. You need to have different elements in there. You need to quiz them and everything. And that's why PowerPoint is still good to create the foundation. However, uh, using uh, Storyline to actually go in and build more interactivity is probably the best route. So there's a couple different ways that you can work with PowerPoint. The first way is by if you have not started a project, you can click on import and you can come down to import PowerPoint and then you can start your project based on the PowerPoint. Or if you're inside of a project, you can just come into your project. Uh, let's go ahead and just save this project somewhere. So I'm going to call this sample and then we're going to come into insert and then we're going to actually come into file and then go down to import and this is where I can import a PowerPoint. So if I click on PowerPoint, I can then go find my PowerPoint, which I think I have saved it on my desktop here. There it is, test. I'm going to just double click where it says test and this is going to read my PowerPoint. So it'll take a second depending on your PowerPoint. It'll then give me the option if I wanted to select all of my PowerPoints, it'll already have the slides, all the slides selected. But if I wanted to deselect some that I do not want to import, then I just select that. But you can see anything that's now highlighted in this blue outline is going to be imported. And then I have the option to import this into a new scene, a current scene, or and then give this scene a name as well. I want to just import it into my current scene. I'm going to select current scene and then I'm going to click on import. Depending on the animations, depending on uh, the file size, if you have a lot of images or anything inside of your PowerPoint, this option may take a little bit longer. Um, and But the nice thing is, is uh, most of the animations will transfer over. So if you've already animated your different objects inside of PowerPoint, that animation is already going to be there inside of uh, Storyline. However, there are a couple things, depending on the person's machine, when they've actually uh, created that PowerPoint. I'm just deleting the first slide here. But if that person's machine didn't have or they had certain fonts that they were using that those fonts are now not on your machine, um, then some you may need to go in and change the text. So you can't just say, okay, well, now it's good. I'm just going to go ahead and just export this out. You need to go through and just make sure that everything has been transferred over. But this shape that I had inside of PowerPoint, let me open up the PowerPoint. You'll notice I had a shape. I had some text here. And then on page two, I just had some bullet points, just a really simple, quick PowerPoint that I came in here and uh, did some add-ons. And that's pretty much it. But the shape that gets imported inside of Storyline is the actual shape inside of Storyline itself. So if I was to come into Insert and click on Shape, this pretty much would be the same box that I was created inside of PowerPoint. So that means I now have the capability to actually come into uh, Storyline and format this box in any way that I want. So the formatting option is pretty much still there. You can take your PowerPoint, you can still go into the font, you can format your font, and you can apply a different uh, background or something. If I come into design, and let's say I wanted a, a new design background, we well, notice the, checks, the text automatically changed to white because it's still as though you were to build it directly inside of Storyline itself. And that's one of the nice things is if someone sends you a PowerPoint, you can start from that PowerPoint and uh, and start building your course from that PowerPoint itself and not lose any of the functionality as though you were to build it inside of Storyline. Again, there's still some transfer problems that you may happen that may happen like fonts or uh, different types of things depending on the image uh, that's used or the smart shapes or uh, smart gr grids or anything like that may get transferred in as just an image inside of Storyline. So th those things to keep in mind, but uh, this at least gives you a base foundation in order to start building 
uh, your training and setup storyline without having to restart or rebuild everything that's already inside of PowerPoint.